Hello. My name is Simone Braga, for those listening to me for the first time. God bless you, mightily. Here you discover the mystery of the mighty verses from the book of Psalms. The Psalm 48. Since Psalm 48 does not mention circumstances and does not include specific references to any historical context, it is among several hymns in this book that remain undated. Suggestions span 500 years, from David's reign to his return from captivity. The message of this song is not limited to one moment in history, as it is about the protection that God offers his servants in any circumstance. Even today, Zion and heavenly Jerusalem are actual figures of Christian's communion with God, Hebrews 12 22-24. As the people of Israel walked into the land of Canaan, God revealed his plan to identify a place as the center of the national religion. He said he would put his name on this place, his dwelling place, Deuteronomy 12.5. Servants of the one true God never imagined that God would be physically limited to a dwelling made with human hands. David, the same one who designed the construction of God's dwelling place in Jerusalem, wrote of God's omnipresence, Where shall I depart from your spirit? Where will I flee from your face? If I ascend to heaven, there you are. If I make my bed in the deepest abyss, there you are too. Psalm 139, 7-8 Solomon, the king of Israel who built the temple on Mount Zion in Jerusalem, said at the sanctuary's dedication, But would God indeed dwell with men on earth? Behold, Due to its lack of cita citations or explanations, Psalm 48 stands out in this collection as one of the hymns that remain undated. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, All Faith Theory. I kindly ask you to do it because it will help our channel, and the YouTube algorithm will understand our content is reasonably suitable for hearing. Please click on the bell, and leave your comments. I would also like you to pass this audio on to your friends, as everyone will have the opportunity to listen to our new content. First and foremost, our mission is to pass the predominant thing, the Lord's words. Psalm 48 Great is the Lord, and most worthy of praise, in the city of our God, his holy mountain. It is beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth. Like the utmost heights of Zaphon is Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels, he has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pain like that of a woman in labor. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God, God makes her secure forever. Selah. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth, your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices, the villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion, go around her, count her towers. Consider well her ramparts, view her citadels, that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God for ever and ever, 
He will be our guide even to the end. Pray with me, our Father, with great faith. Lord's Prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom comes, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God will bless your victory mightily. Now repeat after me. Glory to Lords and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love you all. Thank you all for listening. In the name of God, please subscribe to the channel. God bless you forever. Goodbye.